What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm John the Potters. Great to have you in the studio. Today we have a super fun video. We're doing a Raku firing. So I did one video about Raku like a year ago, but now I have my own Raku kiln at my house. Uh, we're prepping for the August event. So we're getting ready for this epic pottery event. I'm just calling it an epic pottery event. It's gonna be fun. It's, I'm gonna have Raku firing demonstrations, which you're gonna see in this video. I'm gonna have wheel demonstrations. I'm gonna have a ton of pots for sale. It's gonna be really fun. I'd love for you guys to come check out my studio. That's one of the reasons why I built a new studio was to host kind of events like this. So this is the first one. But anyway, this video. So a couple exciting things about this video. So all these pots are glazed in Raku. The process of Raku is you fire up really quickly. So it'll take like an hour to an hour and a half to get up to 1850 degrees. And then while the pots are all super hot inside the kiln, you open the kiln up and you take it out and put it in garbage cans, which light up. I just remember that I need to get newspaper. So you put them in garbage cans, it lights the newspapers on fire, and then you close it so you like, create this reduction atmosphere in the garbage cans. So like there's there's fire, but it wants to get out the oxygen, but you don't let it have any oxygen. So it's like this carbon thing. I don't really know, I'm not a chemist. But anyway, super fun. Then you take it out and you get crazy results. They're not food safe and they're not like dinnerware safe or anything, but you get cool results that are great for just wild and unpredictable things. Plus it's super fun. So we got some brand new glazes from Mako to try. I told Mako we were doing these Raku and they said you should try our glazes. So we have black metallic, peacock matte, white crackle, copper metallic, oil slick, and copper penny. We have tests of each one of the Mako glazes. Uh, we also have some random ones and we also have some Raku glazes that I have made before. So I've actually made some glazes. I know that might surprise you a little bit, but I have made glazes. All right, I'll show you the setup. So this is how we fire it. So this is actually just a weed burner. You can get this like at any hardware store. And this hooks up to our propane tank, which that's how we, we use liquid propane for our house. And then this just goes right in here. I think she's loaded. So we have some crackle glazes in there that you want to leave, like once it's done firing, you leave the crackle like a little bit so that it can start to cool and then the glaze can start to craze a little bit because then you want it to craze and then you want it to put in so that you can get the carbon in the crackle so that the crackles turn black. Kind of strategically loaded it that way. So we pull the non-crackles first. Uh, it's not totally gonna work, but It'll kind of work. So here's our setup. We are we have a T that we got connected to the studio, which is connected to our propane tank, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have it running the gas line out here, right here. Starter thingy. I almost forgot a very important part. We got to have cones in there. So we have cone 05 and cone 06, and that's how we tell when it's done. So we'll put it in there. Uh, we have a thermometer too, but that's not as accurate as these cones. degrees in about 30 seconds. So here's the propane tank. So this is the tank that it's hooking up to. And we're at about 87%. Last time we did this Raku, I looked at this propane tank and it was like less than 5% and I was like oh, a little panicked. So then I called them, they came and refilled it. It's at 87% right now. So now I'm just curious how much propane it actually uses to do one of these. So. 
That's why I wanted to check that. Okay, so the kiln's at 1,000 degrees and it took about nine minutes to get up to 1,000 degrees. So that's how quick it can go when you have gas going in there. We're at one hour, 23 minutes, and we are, the cone 05 is like halfway bent down. The temperature gauge says like 1760 or something, but I think that's slightly off. So we're gonna go by cones, not by the thermometer. So we're gonna hold it at where it is for like five minutes, and then we'll pop it open and show you guys the results. <laughs> Got our audience over here? Yeah. We're ready. What do you ready, think? Ready. <laughs> Got it all out. It was very hot. Now we're gonna grab them out of there and see the results. So let's do it. Bubble E on the... It's the crackle of the penny. All right, so here's one of the first ones that we got out. White crackle, I think turquoise crackle. Ooh, it's hot. Cool. Holy cow. Blue Hawaii, isn't it? Yeah. Blue Hawaiian. Ooh, that. Is that the Blue Hawaii too? Wow. Mako Crackle? Uh, no, it's... It's the other Crackle. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is so good. Oh, man. Yeah, that is... It crackled a little bit too. Close the one with just everything on it. Yep. <laughs> That's what you want to see from Raku right there. All right guys, so it is the next day. So we cleaned everything up, got the pieces all washed off, and we got some super cool results. I'm really excited to share with you. Uh, so as far as starting out, this is that blue Hawaiian. And so this is a glaze that we found in a book. Actually, Mark, another guy that I fired with, he found it in a book. Um, so you get some really cool results there. That's sweet. This is also that blue Hawaiian. So same glaze, totally different result. Uh, this one is super cool. It's got some, it kind of has like a different a matte part and then it has a glossy part too, which I really love when pieces have both matte and gloss. I think they contrast really well together. Uh, probably my favorite pieces were the Mako glazes. And so this is one of the Mako glazes, Copper Penny. And what we did is we layered it like extra on the bottom. And so it looks like that's where the copper really came out, but it's a really nice green color too. So that one turned out sweet. Definitely gonna do more copper penny. Then this is my other one that was really cool. And this was layered with four different glazes. So we think, and I'm like 90% sure, this is the oil slick. This is the black metallic. This is the copper penny. 
and then this is the copper metallic. And what turned out really cool was the combination between copper penny and black metallic, and then also the combination between oil slick and black metallic. So that one was super cool, love that one. We used uh, a continental clay, raku clay, glaze, tarnished brass on the inside. This one was also that blue Hawaiian on the bottom and then white crackle on top. That one turned out pretty cool. And then there was one more I was... This one turned out kind of cool too. So on the top, it's white crackle. So you can see it really cracked really nicely there. And then on the bottom, it's turquoise crackle. And we overlapped them, which bubbled, which technically is like a flaw, not supposed to happen. But I think it turned out kind of cool and gives it a sweet texture. So. Um, that's the thing about Raku, you never know really what you're gonna get, and sometimes the results are quite stunning. Probably half of them, I'll show you the ones that didn't work too, I suppose, but this white crackle worked really nicely, um, and had, I can't remember what was the glaze on the inside. I have everything written down, and I took pictures of everything before, so, so, and I can even scrub some of that off. These, as well as a few of the others, came out and they're kinda like, eh, they're not, this is turquoise crackle, kinda crawled. This white crackle didn't crackle at all. This one kind of just, mm, blah, not super good. Here are the other Mako ones. So this is Oil Slick, which turned out pretty cool. I think if the form was better, like these were just kind of tester forms. I didn't make anything like crazy. Uh, this is the black metallic. Then this is the copper uh, metallic as well. And so I think the combination of things, uh, I think where it is in the kiln makes a big difference. So you can see like, the path of the flame was going like in between like this one and like this one probably, you know, there's just so much cool stuff going on in there with the flame and the gas and the, and then the, the gas, the garbage cans at the end with the flames. So anyway, it was super fun to experiment. We're probably going to keep doing like at least like one Raku now, maybe one a week until the event. So August 14th and 15th, if you guys want to come out. So, It'll be fun to have these glazes kind of nailed down by that event. So huge shout out to Mako for sending me those glazes. They are, they turned out better than I could have expected. So go check out makocolors.com. You can buy the Raku glazes on there. Our next restock is August 18th. It's gonna be after our event. And so uh, what I'm basically gonna do is after the event, I'm gonna gather up as many pots as I can and then take quick take pictures and post them uh, for you guys on August 18th. And then that one will be the last restock for like probably a month or two until we get into the holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Can't say thanks enough. See you guys in the next video.